guys. Alec Beer, Scuba Tech Tips here at uh, Simcoe Diving in Barrie, Ontario. Great dive shop here. Full hydro test facility too. Travel the whole thing. You got to drop into Simcoe Diving right on beautiful Lake Simcoe, which by the way is great for diving. We got shipwrecks, all kinds of stuff. So drop in to uh, Simcoe Diving and say hi to Chris for me. Uh, as you saw from the thumbnail, what I'm going to try to do today is, is show you whether or not you can stop uh, a leak a free flow, a burst hose, whatever, some kind of a problem like that by simply crimping the hose. You know, if you have a garden hose and you're watering the garden and, and you need to change the end of the hose or whatever you have, you have to shut it off, you can sometimes grab the garden hose, bend it, usually twice, bend it twice, squeeze it really hard and you can stop the water flow. That's a 60 PSI, you know, no more than 60. Uh, this is 150 PSI, first of all, and it also is in a very, very strong, reinforced with nylon, lined, uh, hard, hard neoprene hose up the middle. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. I've heard people ask me about this. If I get a free flow, can I just crimp the hose and keep on diving? Uh, the short answer is no, but let's check it out and see for sure. So what I've done, I've set this second stage up so it free flows. I've just changed it so it's not adjusted properly. It free flows. Listen. See? The valve is on full right now. i put that down there a little bit so you can't hear it. And now we're going to try to crimp that hose to see what happens. Uh-oh! I got a free flow! Just crimp the hose. Well, that's not working. I got an idea, just to be sure, just to just to let you know, uh, great idea, but no good. Let's get our vice grips, because every every good diver carries a good pair of vice grips with them underwater. Absolutely. Now, these are scuba vice grips. These are not normal vice grips. Um, it doesn't say scuba on them, but trust me, they're scuba vice grips. <laughs> anyway, if you take a pair of vice grips, and I, I, I tried this right squeezing it hard so they lock okay they're really on there really tightly and now let's see what happens we'll get her free flow on first uh-oh free flow let's squeeze the hose and shut it off still free flowing now that's a pair of vice grips and it's destroying the hose by the way i can see it there kevin it's still free flowing a little bit i'm not sure if you can hear it but it actually did manage to crush that hose enough that it shut it off so <clears throat> If you guys that were wondering about it, yes, you can stop the airflow in a low pressure hose, 150 PSI, by using your trusty, always at your side, vice grips. Or you could simply signal to your buddy that you have to end the dive and go safely to the surface. Your choice. <laughs> All right, now what we need to do, why don't we try this with a high pressure hose? Yeah, your SPG or your computer hose, whichever the high pressure hose. Give me a minute to rig up a high pressure hose. Be right back. Okay guys, so all right, so what I've done now is I've taken off that old uh, low pressure hose that I destroyed with the vice grips and I've got a nice new <clears throat> high pressure hose mounted on this regular now. And in the end, I just put on a little button gauge. I didn't want to put a, a whole SPG or computer on there. I just stuck a little button SPG in there. And now let's see what happens. We'll turn the air on. Oh yes, we have a leak. We have a leak. Okay. Oh, we have a leak. Let's bend the hose and stop it. Well, now the problem is it's not going to happen. The bender twice, maybe. Now, now the difficulty is that this particular hose, the high pressure hose, is the inside hose, the inner hose that actually carries the air is quite small, very, very small, and extremely strong. Okay, 3,000 PSI, at least normal working pressure. So it probably has a burst pressure of 3,500, maybe 4,000. And then that is also wrapped with a nylon braid. In most cases, nylon uh, a braid to also increase the strength to, get, to give that hose support. And then they put this pretty black hose over top of it. Even if it was a, a nylon braided hose, it would act almost exactly the same. Because even the new... Uh, high flexible, my flex, whatever type you may have, uh, hose on your regulator, they're very similar. They have a very, very small, extremely strong uh, synthetic tube 
wrapped in, um, in a very strong nylon braid, then covered with a very attractive and highly flexible nylon, colorful nylon outside. So they're all very, very similar. Anyway, bending this isn't going to help. Let's try our scuba vice grips again. We're going to reach into our, into our uh, underwater toolbox. Get a hold of the, this hose this time. It'll probably ruin the hose as well. And see what, can you still hear that, Kevin? Let's see where we can shut that off. Oh boy. Uh, almost. Almost. And that's about as tight as those vice grips will go on that hose. Almost touch it. Anyway, there you go, guys. A little bit of fun. Uh, I've not done this before myself, to be honest. I've tried crimping the hoses by hand. I knew that didn't work. I've never tried it with a pair of uh, heavy-duty scuba vice grips. <laughs> I hope you know that's a joke. They're just good old regular vice grips. Uh, I've never tried that before. That's about as tight as you can get it. The bottom line of all that is, that little bit of fun is, no, you can't stop an air leak underwater. If you have a leak in your, whether it's your regulator, your BCD, any one of your feed hoses from your uh, from your first stage, and you get a leak in that hose, you can't stop it underwater. It's time to signal your buddy, uh, no, this dive is over, and make a safe ascent to the surface and replace the hose. It's really not that difficult, not a real big deal. Okay, hope that was interesting for you. Maybe you have some comments, maybe you have some experience with the uh, hoses that have leaked. I'm sure some of you do. Take care, Alec Pierce. Tech tips, from Simcoe Diving in Barrie, Ontario. Take care. Talk to you soon.